Greetings, YouTube. Happy Tuesday. You see that banner in front of you? It's Tier 2 Alpha Catalyst time, which the game must know I'm thirsty for, even though I'm not sure, as always, if I'm going to get one of these offers, because I recently pulled that oh-so-luscious Warlock, who is as fun as advertised. I mean, i got to give the community a lot of credit for suggesting the hunt. The problem is, when I go to upgrade, <laughs> I'm just, you know... Four tier two alpha short of the goal. Everything else I've got in spades, but uh, I'd love to take that rank four warlock to rank five. And so we've got tier four catalyst cash offers and tier two alpha catalyst bundles to grade today. And so uh, I'm guessing this is probably for those who are uncollected or cavalier, and it is uncollected indeed. And then everything else goes for those of you who are proven or higher. So that is becoming the norm. Two different progression-based offers. Let's talk about the first one. What year is this? <laughs> what? Whoo! Kabam! You have the technology to do Tier 4 Class Catalyst Selectors. Why are you still giving us these 1 out of 6 class-based RNG algorithm, which often gives us the thing we don't need, for 20 bucks? Now, back in the day, when I say the day, I mean like 2015, maybe 2016. This would have been an amazing deal because Tier 4 Class Catalyst Crystals, which are what you really, really needed to take your 4 stars to rank 5, and at that point, rank 5 4 stars were everything, especially pre-patch 12.0. Uh, this would have been an amazing deal. But this isn't 2015 or 2016, it's 2020. And a Tier 4 Class Catalyst you can get, almost everybody can get, for logging in every month and just having that monthly calendar reward. So at this point, when Kabam is offering these kind of rank up materials to proven and conqueror summoners mainly, you need to give them guaranteed value. And the guaranteed value is to do what is already in the game, and that's to have them select the class of their choice. And what they should do is they should uh, select the class of their choice. And if I was running Kabam marketing, Lord help my blood pressure. I would limit three. I would stick to the $20 price tag where it's at. That's a fair price for one Tier 4 Class Catalyst Selector. And then I'd also move the Tier 4 Basic up from three to five. That way, if you limit three, you could guarantee yourself enough Tier 4 Catalysts of a specific class to take, say, a five-star to rank three or a four-star to rank five. But right now, this thing is a terrible value because you don't get to choose your class. And that really is the main takeaway I want for those of you summoners who are proven and maybe are clicking on this hoping to maybe get inspired to buy this. Don't do it. There just isn't enough value for your money and you're probably going to get the class that you don't need and it's going to infuriate you and of course there are no refunds. So I'm going to give this, I'm going to give this an F. I know people are going to say I'm being too hard on it, but oh, internet praises. Uh, I, I just can't justify this. If this was five bucks, okay, fine, five bucks. But if you're going to charge 20, you've got to be able to choose your own class. And also, if you're going to charge 20 bucks, you should at least throw in two or three. Make it five tier four basic and three tier one alpha, and we'll talk, Kaban. Okay, speaking of tier four class catalyst selectors, that's what Kabam is giving us in the quote-unquote in-game community. Now, if you're uncollected and you're still using, because I've, I've known people, plenty of people, who have become uncollected with rank four, four stars. This is going to be appealing to you. But if you're Cavalier especially, this is one of those you just got to shake your head and think, kabam, why? There are so many people who don't need Tier 4 Class Catalyst. It's been that way for a long time, but it's especially that way now. Because of that, this is not going to entice them. Now, Tier 2 Alpha, it certainly is, but not for 40 bucks. This should be 1.5 to 2 Tier 2 Alpha for the price. Now, I will say that the cheapest we've seen, let's be realistic, the cheapest we've seen for Tier 2 Alpha is about $22.50 to $25. So I do think one and a half is probably realistic. Or why not make it $49.99 and guarantee two Tier 2 Alpha and limit two or limit three? And then that gives you four to six, what you need to take your five star to rank four or to rank five. Because Kabam's probably thinking, we want people to take these deals to rank up their five stars. Well, this just isn't enough value. I really hate for those proven and conqueror summoners, though, 
that they're putting the price tag at a tier four class catalyst selector at 20 bucks on the left, but on the right, it's the same price and yet it's the class-based crystal. Kabam at least has the tier four class catalyst selector value on the left correct, but they're not applying it to the right. And that's just a missed opportunity for players who need help taking their four stars up, or maybe if they're lucky, they're five stars up. So the left side is not a terrible deal. It's a C deal. I'm going to be honest. It's, it's a C grade. If you are uncollected, it's probably higher than that because you may not have the chance to get tier fours as much, but anybody who's like me and, and has like 30 plus tier four class catalyst crystals in their stash. And then, you know, a bunch of other crystals like tier four class catalyst fragment crystals. This is, this is a no go replace the tier four class catalyst selector with some tier five basic catalyst fragments and at least another half of a tier two alpha. And we've got ourselves a, a B value minimum, but for the moment, I can't give that higher than a C minus to C and the right side's an F. It's just a 2016 offer in 2020. And what makes it worse is if you don't see the left, but you know that this video is out there, you know what we have the capability of technology wise to get these tier four class catalyst selectors. Kabam is just refusing to do that for players who are in the middle. And that's really too bad because you're giving them less of an incentive to buy your offer and spend their money. Have a great rest of your Tuesday, YouTube. Thanks for watching.